Hey everyone, it's Marilyn. Happy Friday, everybody. Hey, it's going to be a cold and blustery weekend where I am, and I thought, what better time than to play with our new program called Pro Stitcher Designer, brought to us by the folks from Handy Quilter. Today we're going to talk about drawing um, some simple shapes, because we bought this program to create our own designs, didn't we? We want to win ourselves off of buying designs that someone else created, or maybe we can be inspired by uh, things that we saw or a quilt that we saw and create them now in our own design from Pro Stitcher Designer. So we're going to get that to that in a minute. I want to let you know that you can always reach me at kksos at kksquiltstudio.com. Just drop me an email. I've created a new Facebook page called uh, Pro Stitcher Designer Diner. So if you belong to Facebook, move on over there and look for Pro Stitcher Designer Diner. And we're going to talk strictly just about Pro Stitcher Designer because I know you all have a hunger for knowledge. And don't forget, if you don't belong to Facebook, there's always the message board under groups.io. That's groups.io. That is the web address, not .com, .org, or anything else. And look for the digital quilting bee. Now, I spelled it out here with spaces, but it is all together. No spaces. Look for, do the search for digital quilting bee. And you can always go to my website to learn about any of my paid classes at kksquiltstudio.com. So let's go on over to Pro Stitcher Designer and take a look at what I created. I did a little snowman because I thought, oh, it's it's that time. It's winter time. And when you select on it, I made it a little bit thicker so you could see it a little bit easier. On this video, I changed the stroke width to 3.0. Now this normally defaults to 1.0. So you can just change it to 3 and then click apply. But how did I create that cute little guy? Well, let's move over here, create a new design, and I'll show you how. So go to your home tab, new screen, new workspace, go to tools, and we're going to be working with artwork shapes. So we're going to be creating a rectangle and then we're going to click on an ellipse and I'm going to draw a thin little narrow one and then you see my tool stays active so we're going to draw him a face, a head and a bigger circle for his body. Okay my tool is still active so I want to go over here and click on my select tool want to grab these guys and bring them together and actually I can select all the designs left click hold that key down and drag a box around all the shapes or go over here and select all the pieces of artwork in the sequence box and I'm going to right click on my mouse and we are going to go up to align and horizontal center. And you'll see there that brings everything into line exactly together. So we're going to grab these last two shapes and go to modify tab and you'll see that my weld tools light up. Now I can only do two at a time. Some other programs I've used you could select all of these shapes back out here a little bit and you'll see that trim weld in, intersect the shaping tools right now are grayed out and if I select all of them it's still grayed out so I can only do this two pieces at a time so let's do his hat that lights up let's weld those okay and then let's grab his little body and weld those together. So now let's take his little body, bring him up here, and we'll grab all the shapes together because that's two pieces now and weld those. Voila! You've got a little snowman. 
go into your reshape tools and you'll see all the little nodes here's the start stop down here so you know he's going to start and stop on the edge or on the bottom of that little snowman so if you want to make a whole row of these for a border design or a sashing have a way i want to see what you created what you can come up this snowy weekend so don't forget go on over to facebook and join the new designer diner group or join us at groups.io the digital quilting bee so i hope you have a fun weekend bye for now